Hi everybody! Today we're going to be making some pork chops, some fried pork chops. So basically we're going to start with our pork chops. We will have some eggs, which we will beat. We will have some Progresso breadcrumbs is what I use. We have salt, pepper, and garlic. And we have some olive oil in our pan. Olive oil is a healthier oil that I like to fry with. Um, I just feel like I'm doing better things for my family when I use olive oil. So first I'm going to beat my eggs. I'm going to put my eggs in here because it's easier to beat them without spilling them. And it's easier to bread my breadcrumbs in here because I can kind of shake it around and put my pork chops in there and shake them around. So I'm going to beat my eggs first. Okay. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put on the chops some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. I, I use lots of garlic powder. It really gives them a wonderful flavor. Okay, so once you've seasoned your meat, then you can take your chop and you put it in your egg mixture. And then I put it, let it drip a little bit, and then you put it in your breadcrumbs. Now when I put in my breadcrumbs, I like to, this is why I like to keep it in this type of Tupperware, because I can kind of shake it up, it gets all on the sides, it gets all over the, without me having to keep turning it. And then I do need to bring an extra pan, out. excuse me, an extra dish to put them in. In the meanwhile, I'll turn on my stove and I'll get that oil nice and hot. Okay, and the first one is ready to go in, so we'll just put it over here until the oil gets nice and hot. And we'll go to the next one. Here we go. Again, we'll dip it in the egg. And then into our breadcrumb mixture. can see the sides get nicely covered when I shake it like that and uh, here we go do another and we'll put it in Okay, while the oil's getting hot, I'm just going to get a little bit more breadcrumbs. I think we're going to need a few more. So I'm going to pause you here while I do that. Okay, while the oil was heating, I actually finished breading the rest of the breadcrumbs on uh, the leftover pork chops, and now we're ready to put them in. So we don't want to let our oil get too hot. But we do want our oil to have a little bit of a simmer when we put it in. Uh, so I'm going to fill the pan with these. Probably fit about five of them in here. Might have to do a second batch for that last sixth one. And we'll put them in there. And I'm going to start timing about how long uh, it's going to take. I say about maybe 10 minutes to brown each side. But uh, I'm going to go time that, and I will let you know 
exactly how long to keep those in. Okay, um, they've been on about five minutes now, so I think it's time to turn them. Let's turn them and see. Oh, how beautiful, how perfect. They are cooking fabulously. They smell unbelievable. I cut them on a medium heat. And uh, they're cooking quite nicely in that olive oil. So now I'm going to leave them here for another five minutes. And then we will check and see the doneness of them. Okay, so I left it in an additional two minutes. So uh, after I turned them, I basically left them in for about seven minutes on the other side because I wanted to make sure they're cooked. This is a little bit thicker than the cutlets that I usually work with. I usually work with a little bit of thinner cutlet, and that cooks much quicker. Because these are a little bit thicker, I left them in an additional two minutes. I'm going to cut through it, and let's look and see what it looks like on the inside. Make sure that it's cooked, because we certainly don't want to take it out too soon. Um, let me cut into it. It does look delicious. It is completely cooked through. It is juicy and beautiful. So I can take out the rest of my cutlets because they would all be cooked. Let's take them out one by one. Okay. Look beautiful. Two. Three. Four. And I'm going to put in the last one to cook. And that looks beautiful over a little bit of lettuce, as you can see. And that's it, that's the finished product.